When my son was little, we lived in Texas, and every Saturday we would go to the swimming pool, because let's face it, there wasn't much else to do on a Saturday in Texas. And so there we were at the swimming pool, and he was about two years old, and I taught him to dive off the side. And so he spent most of the summer diving off the side and swimming to the edge, and diving off the side and swimming to the edge. About halfway through the summer, he became bored with that, and I taught him to go off the edge of the low dive. I would tread water in the deep end so nothing happened, and he'd walk to the edge of the diving board, dive in, and swim. One day, near the end of the summer, he was waiting for his turn to go off the edge of the diving board, and he looked up. And it was as if he had never seen it before. And he looked up, and he watched the children climb the ladder and walk to the edge of the diving board, land in the water. He watched the next child land. And he comes running over to me, and he says, Mommy, I do that. <laughs> oh, no, sweetie, you're two years old. You can't do that. Mommy, I do that. No, no, sweetie, that's for big children, children who can swim. Mommy, I swim. I do that. You know, he kind of had me there because the truth was I had taught him to swim. And so I told him to wait, and I went to talk to the lifeguard. And I asked him how they felt about my son diving off the edge of the high diving board with me treading water in the deep end. And they said, don't worry. It's not a problem. What do you mean not a problem? This is my two-year-old son. Not a problem. He's going to walk to the edge of the diving board, look down, turn around, and walk back down. What if he doesn't? You'll be on the deep end. You can catch him, and we will be at the ready. Okay, go to it. And my son climbs the ladder of the diving board, and I'm madly treading water in the deep end, and every lifeguard all around the pool is at the ready with those little floaty things leaning forward. And sure enough, Harrison walks to the edge of the board, looks down, turns around, and comes back down. Whew, crisis averted. But about an hour later, he comes back and he says, Mommy, I do that. No, no, sweetie, we've been all through this. You can't do this and keep going up and down. It's dangerous. No, no, Mommy, I do that. Okay. So he gets back online. I talk to the lifeguards. But I have to admit that this time I was pretty sure, just like the lifeguards had said, that he wasn't going off the edge of the pool. And so... The lifeguards were a little more relaxed. They were sort of leaning back in their seats. And quite honestly, I was treading water, but I was more interested in what my daughter was doing on the side when I heard the splash. And sure enough, my son had dived off the edge of a 10-foot board into the deep end. We fished him out, and as I was helping him get to the edge of the pool, I realized two things. Number one, my son is fearless, and to this day, I am frequently reminded of that. But number two, and more importantly, what I learned is that past failure is no indicator of future performance. The reason is that we learn from our mistakes. We learn from our failures. And Harrison learned from his. That second time, he knew what it would feel like to go up the ladder, and it was no longer scary. He knew what it would feel like to walk to the edge of the board and look down. The only thing he didn't know was what it would feel like to step off the edge. And so everything he had learned from that first experience made his second attempt a success. As a business owner, we frequently fail the second time around, or the first time around, and we hope to learn from those experiences the second time. There's this great story about Jack Welch at DE, who had an employee come to him and say, you know that last mistake, it was about $100,000. I'll clean out my desk now. And Jack Welch said, are you nuts? I just spent $100,000 training you. Why would I fire you? In your business, you need to think about those things as well. What can you learn from the things that didn't go well? Whether it's an employee mistake or your own, that second time, that second trip up the diving board, you're going to know so much more, and you will be successful. So go ahead, climb up that board, and dive.